We're here at and in Butterflies in Blooms at the Chicago Botanic Garden, and this is Harriet Resnick. And Harriet, exactly what do you do here? I am the uh, Vice President of Visitor Experience. What kind of room is this? You've got mesh on the outside, it's, uh, it, the it, sun comes in. It How's is it? really a tent. If it rains, we're going to get wet. It's a mesh. There's a layer of zoo mesh, and then on top of it is sort of a polyurethane mesh that helps diffuse the sunlight. Mm -hmm. It also gives it the pretty white color that we like on the outside. And of course you have butterflies here. And we have butterflies from here. From all over the world. From all over the world. Mostly um, right now we've got them from Asia and mm -hmm. South America. Mm -hmm. They grow them really pretty there. <laughs> we got some pretty good ones we, here in North America We do, America and we too. do have some native Illinois ones. Uh -huh. uh, painted ladies and monarchs are still And here. how many different varieties do you have in here? Right now we have about 35 different species and mm -hmm. there's probably about 500 butterflies flying around right now. And how do you feed them? Um, on the uh, plates you'll see there, there's rotten oranges, rotten bananas, watermelon, and they love blue Gatorade. How long is this going to be here? It's going to be here through Labor Day, September 3rd. It's open every day, 10 to 5. You really want this to be an experience um, for everybody. And you can come here. We've got a combo ticket. You can come here and go to our model railroad exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, it's for families. It's for young and old. All right, so let's see now what plants you should be putting in your yard here in the Chicago area that are going to, and there goes one right now, yeah. attract a butterfly. Thanks, Mike and Harriet, for that wonderful introduction to all these gorgeous butterflies. And I'm here to tell you which of the plants that you can put in your own garden to attract butterflies to your garden in, you know, in your own home. And like this one right here is one of the bee bombs. Excellent plant. The butterflies love these. This is Liatris. It's prairie blazing star. Monarchs actually love this. This is more or less a tropical plant, but every butterfly loves these because it's a cluster of miniature flowers that has nectar all through all of them. This is a lantana. And then this is verbena. Bright, bright colors. They come in whites, pinks, reds, and this is a, a magnificent purple one. And then coming up over here are the cone flowers. Cone flowers are classics in our prairie plants. Many of these also are food plants for the caterpillars. So in your own garden, if you have a, a mixture of nectar plants for the adults and food plants for the caterpillars, you can really help the life cycle of the butterflies. Coming up next, we're going to the Urban Prairie Project, where you'll see three families that have let their gardens all merge together and flow together with beautiful plants that are native to our prairies. 